tweet that has led to a slugfest in the state of Karnataka leaving political parties and the general public divided over milk. Karnataka has been trending on Twitter not just because of the upcoming elections but also over butter, cheese and curd. Amul is in Karnataka and the local milk supplier is not happy about it. Nandini is the largest supplier of milk in Bengaluru. It accounts for nearly 70% of the total market in the city. Opposition parties have said that the entry of Amul is a conspiracy to kill the brand Nandini. Now on April 5th, Amul tweeted, a new wave of freshness with milk and curd is coming to Bengaluru. This led to the slugfest. The Gujarat Cooperative Milk Marketing Federation has been facing heavy backlash in Karnataka, especially from the Karnataka Milk Federation or KMF. It sells dairy products in Karnataka under the brand name Nandini. Now reports state that KMF is the second largest milk procurer in the country and GCMMF is India's largest dairy producer. It sells a wide variety of products including milk, curd, chocolates and cream under its brand Amul. Last week Amul announced its entry into Karnataka. Soon after that social media was flooded with hashtags like Save Nandini and Go Back Amul. Now with assembly elections due within a month, Amul vs Nandini has become a political issue and can have bad implications for the BJP as it might upset a very important vote bank. The opposition has alleged Amul's entry as a threat to Karnataka's identity. Now to date, no government in the state has tried to dictate terms to KMF given its massive network that comprises 22,000 villages, 24 lakh milk producers and 14,000 cooperative societies. The majority of milk producers are from old Mysuru regions such as Mandya, Mysuru, Ramanagara and Kolar and the central Karnataka district of Davangere making them an important electoral constituency since they are spread across 120-130 assembly seats. This could ideally backfire for the BJP. The opposition, on the other hand, has left no stone unturned to use this as an opportunity. Attacking the BJP Kumar Swami, the JDS second in command said, One nation, one Amul, one milk, and one Gujarat has become the official policy of the central government. Is your purpose of coming to Karnataka to give to Karnataka or to loot from Karnataka? You have already stolen banks, ports, and airports from Kanadigas. Are you now trying to steal Nandini from us? Siddharamaya, the opposition leader, accused the central government. Now, in connection with ports, they have already gone to Adani, Vijaya Bank was some subsumed Baroda Bank, and now Nandini. But there is more to the story than just the recent events. Amit Shah last year called for a merger between KMF and Amul. While inaugurating a mega dairy in Mandya in Karnataka, Amit Shah said that if Amul and Nandini work jointly, they will be primary dairies in three years. This was seen as a hint towards the merger of the two cooperatives. Now, political parties as well as several experts opposed the merger and there were news of protest as well. Chief Minister Bumai said that Nandini was the pride of Karnataka and his government had taken all measures to make it number one at national level. Nandini's market reach is wide, there is no need to fear Amul, he stated. Now the people are not happy with this. They are not happy with Amul's entry. In fact, the Bruhut Bengaluru Hotels Association announced that they will use only Nandini milk to support the state's dairy farmers. While Amul's side of the story is that the brand is currently looking at e-commerce or quick commerce channel and not looking at general trade. For general trade, they will need to bring down prices and that is something that they could be looked at in six months. Now to bring some more context, just last week, the directive from the Food Safety and Standards Authority of India for curd sachet to be labelled with dahi had sparked controversy in Tamil Nadu and Karnataka. The opposition parties in both states have accused the FSSAI of attempting to impose Hindi on non-Hindi speaking states. However, following the opposition, FSSAI revised the guidelines on using the term curd along with several other designations. Protests have started taking a while form in Karnataka. Today, Karnataka Rakshana Vedike protested against Amul product sale and allegedly Amul and Nandini merger. Protesters gathered and threw Amul, butter, cheese and other dairy products on the road and held a protest condemning company and its product sale in the state. They also burned posters of Amit Shah and Amul opposing the merger. While Amul is a big player in the dairy business, Nandini is no less. Nandini's turnover in 2022 was 19,784 crore. 
In 2023, Amul registered an 18.5% jump in its turnover, making it 55,000 crore. Now, with elections right around the corner, the debate continues. Will Amul be the taste of Karnataka? We started Mojo right here in this basement. Just four people, four, and now we're about to hit our first one million subscribers. So this is to say thank you to all of you for your support, for your respect, and for your encouragement. We've always gone to where the story is. During the pandemic, when television's big anchors were hunkered down in their studios or at their homes, we hit the road. We travelled from Delhi to Kerala, covering thirty thousand kilometers in our small car, reporting from inside ICUs and inside slum tenements. Whether it's flash floods or war zones, we've always put our boots on the ground. In fact, we're just back from Punjab, tailing the Khalistani fugitive Amrit Pal Singh. And through all of this, we have always put you, the people, first. In an age of partisan, polarized media, where most journalists are either chumcha or morcha, we believe the story is sacred, and the truth of the story is what matters. And now, as we get ready for the next step. We need your help. Become a Mojo member and get first access to all our big interviews. Get a chance to ask our newsmakers questions. Get a chance to write and report for us for both our website and our channels. And also interact with me and my colleagues directly through AMA sessions. Literally, ask me anything. Click on the join now right next to the subscribe button, and yes, also subscribe if you haven't yet, and become a Mojo member for just a hundred and fifty-nine rupees a month. Hope to see lots of you in our community. It's great to see you here. Thank you for watching our work. If you haven't subscribed yet, don't forget to click the bell icon and subscribe to Mojo Story and support independent, robust journalism.